how to train in today i want to share with you about resizing your images canva now canva people look at canva and they promote it as you know um, if you're not techie or not graphic design inclined canvas for you which it is because it's it's very drag and drop and you can you know create pretty much whatever you want in canva without having you know a graphic degree or anything like that but canva can be very powerful when you know how to use their features to create what you want but for this tutorial i'm gonna just go really basic so as we know you know we've got facebook we've got twitter we've got instagram we've got forums you've got your blog posts you know you've got pinterest just um youtube so all these places which are great places to help promote your business in their own right need images and unfortunately they all require different sizes instagram alone has a post size and then you have your uh, igtv size and you have your story size facebook now have your post size and you have your story size and pinterest is a whole different tall big long and then you've got youtube the thumbnail which is wide you need images and you have to keep changing the images to fit your different platforms and, I, and that alone can put off a lot of people creating images even if you create the one that one image just has to be create, recreated or resized three or four times to fit the different areas of the different platforms so the, the hack i want to share with you today is going to turn all that into like into a breeze basically it was like a game changer for me the images that i share on various platforms are I, what I do myself. What I've done, um, I have an automation system set up for my Facebook which shares all my content and then I have a system outside of Facebook where when I go, when my uh, pulses go, go live, it grabs my live pulse and then I check it, check everything's okay, everything's cool, it will publish that for the year through my social sections. So I have a lot of systems set up to constantly repurpose and redistribute my content because obviously it's all about the like, no and trust factor. What I have done is, because I know images are a really big thing for me and a big thing online, I created a mass of quotes. And a mass of quotes, it was something like a hundred images of quotes. And I use Canva for this because it was really easy because once I had the images it was literally just drag and drop and I got the content ready and it was got a copy and paste drag and drop. So I created all these images and it when I first started it was ultimately for Twitter. Now the images I shared were on Twitter and I shared them on Facebook. And then what happened was I went into Canva to do something and then I went to save and then this thing popped up which asked me if I wanted to resize my images and as you know Canva is free but there also is a premium option where you get so much more features and I had a trial version and what I did before I took action I made a plan because that's how my brain works I made a plan even though the trial option is for a month I like to make sure that I'm going to utilize the whole of a trial option when a company or a software offers it me so I always plan before I take the trial option to make sure that if I know I'm not going to continue with that software or program, I'm going to get the full advantage of that platform or program. So seeing this option now, what I did was I even made some more images and I made sure that I had enough images to cover me. So when I went to utilize this option, I was able to literally cover all bases. And by being able to do that, I have now got images for my Facebook, for Twitter, for Pinterest. Basically, the, what these what Canva offers you is to resize, and it resizes to fit all the platforms that you choose. If I'm if I remember correctly, I'm going to show you in a minute so you understand what I'm talking about. And even though it puts in blank spaces to fill the space where the certain platform size needs. That also gives you enough space to add a, like an element where you could actually fill that space. And that's what I did. I had the I had my main image and I had the quote and then I had my certain colours to represent my business branding. So when the, the image was sized, once that appeared, I just created an element to drop in there to fill the space. So ultimately, if 
from say 100 images i was able to maximize those images to able to use on other platforms so i'm now i'm going to show you my images and then i'm going to tell you how to go about getting the hack that allow you to do this for free so now as you can see it my canva page just jump over to this one so i can see make sure okay so this is what I created. I created a batch of these, say, you know, five, um, five to ten of different styles. So when I put them together, it wasn't just the same style to make people become brain dead to the design. It allowed people to, because of the randomness, people were always stopping to, to grab their, it was grabbing their attention. So this is the image and it was literally a square based on facebook and twitter if you just go with a square or even you um instagram if you go with a square you're pretty much covered on those bases but sometimes you just want to capture more attention and i mean what i'm being by more attention is with instagram yes you can go a little bit taller than the square pulse the square pulse is standard and it's that's how instagram started and everyone sticks to that but you can go a little bit taller and what that does that that covers more of the phone the phone screen that someone is looking at which ultimately also means you're capturing more of their attention it's the same with facebook you can drop a square in there and it works fine but if you go a little bit taller it, the, the screen opens up a little bit more again you're grabbing that person's attention because you're filling up more of the screen especially when people are on the phone which is like 70 80 percent of people are looking at your content looking at your products and services from their mobile so basically what happens is I had my images like here that as I can see as I changed this I just changed the color so I didn't do anything too taxing it was really simple of uh, but I just want to use my brand colors to be able to, for me to make this image and then what happened was is when you go to save I'm going to show you what you see but when you go to save you will see this now what happens is is that when you go to save sometimes and more than likely if you've never if you've never paid or paid through canva it will ask you if you want a month's trial and it is it is and i've seen this many times and i've just dismissed it because i'm pretty happy with using canva as i do and if i want to do anything more tricky or things that canva can't do are you aware just jump to um, photoshop but one time when this popped up not necessarily this one and it asked if you wanted to resize because you can resize for various so you can't go wrong with quality platform so as you can see this is saying you know you can resize for facebook you can resize for twitter you can resize for linkedin you can resize for instagram okay some of these are a bit obscure but as you know very different platforms like i was saying with instagram have different sizes for the different parts of instagram so that's when I when it offered me this and it showed me the resizing thing because I didn't even I've been trying to resize before but as because it all takes so long I try to not to avoid that to be honest and that's why I kind of stick to, stick to my square size but when I saw that my brain was like okay then if I'm going to do this I'm going to do this properly so what I did was I made sure that I created all the images that I planned to create so this is why I went with quotes file like all these are in different files all these are in different files but ultimately they were part of the same file and it just let me see as we see down here see it made them bigger or smaller depending on the platform i wanted to resize to and as you can see on this one there's a lot of white space but i liked the white space because it then drew the person who was flicking or scrolling through in but it adds the space of the background color that you are using and all you have to do is add some elements like on this one i've got star um some stars and things um out on this one i've got lines so add elements to just fill up the space that allows you to continue to use on another platform so for this one which is exactly the same as you can see but the lot this is one of the square poles once I resized it to fit Instagram wide and Twitter wide, um, the lines went longer, which I think was a really good effect. So it grabs the, the, the background image. And if you go into Canva, they have loads of background images. So you don't even have to worry about that. Just find something that really works for you, what you like. Use your colors to bring it, 
into your bit to relate to your business and you're pretty much good to go so I could have created all these 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 um, these quotes and I, I use that trial to literally resize all my images and this is what you will see um, sometimes they come into the group there a lot of them come through on to Facebook I share some of them on Instagram but it's always a go-to content especially when I haven't got anything to share at the moment it's great for stories because when you share in your Instagram stories you're bringing your followers back to your account even more so than your posts so just having a couple of quotes in your phone and you know and you haven't posted for a, depending on your schedule for posting if you haven't posted for a couple of days drop something in your story so even though you haven't dropped you, you haven't shared anything on your stream you're still getting people coming back to your stories and that's what it's all about making people remember who you are and what you offer it doesn't have to be about the product that you're selling all the time it's just to allow them to remember who you are and what you offer so when they're ready they will remember you so that's the way this way this hack allowed me to turn multiple square images into facebook twitter and other platform sizes easily without the effort and without the work and i had a I now have an abundance of images and i just keep reusing these because if you share for example a, um, a quote say once a week on whatever platform you want to share a, a quote on if you share a quote once a week for the year and then the next year you repeat that most people won't remember the first quote or the second quote or half of the quotes that you shared because there's so much content out there that they're not going to remember fully but they might see your quote oh it will jog a memory and then they'll remember that you shared it so that literally is the hack to do it manually it would be easy to do it through photoshop because you could create an action that would automate it for you that's a whole different story but it's possible but through Canva, it's not possible automated. It's possible manually, but being able to get a free trial and being able for Canva to do that for you on the fly, they do it so quick, it's unreal. That's why I, I, I recommend that you, if you do decide to do this for your business, have a plan of action before you take the trial because the trial is 30 days and once you open that 30 days you're going to get access to a lot more features and you might want to use some other stuff but make sure that you go in with a plan so your first plan of action is to resize the images that you have created b before you started the trial even if you don't see pop up when you save something in canva if you click resize and you've never had a trial with them more than likely that image that i showed you it will show you that so you still have the option to hack this and take the trial for free also what i want to say is if you know you're not going to stick with canva at the end of the the trial then cancel your trial about a day or two days after you start your trial the trial won't end the trial will end on the last day it's supposed to i say this because if you're busy and you know busy with life busy with business busy with everything you can forget to end the trial and if you forget to end the trial because you have to have your sometimes you have to put your bank details in there if you have to put your bank details in there you have to make sure you remember because it will automatically take the next month's payment out of your bank okay if you haven't got to put no bank details in there then you don't have to worry about this part but if most of most of them that you use i've already used the, the month trial to do what i to resize all my images and whatever else and as I showed you, this says you won't see this again, but I've seen it again, I've seen it before, because this is what happens if you stop promoting your paid products to your audience, they will forget. And if they forget, you don't, whether it's non-profit or profit, continue to market their business because they have to be consistent and you have to stay in front of your audience for them to remember you so when they are ready to buy your product to buy your service you are there so that's the end of the tutorial for now um have a beautiful rest of the evening whatever left or the day depending on where you are in the world so until next time be passionate be focused and continue to 